This is Bumper to Bumper TV. Kia is the latest mass market maker to plug into the electric vehicle market with the Soul EV. Bumper to Bumper TV got a chance to put it to one of the first real-world tests outside of Southern California during a dreary week in the southeast. Like other electrics, it's nearly silent when running and has more than enough space for four adults. As for range, when fully charged, the lithium polymer battery has a range of about 93 miles, more than enough for typical urban driving. So with that in mind, Kia is trying to take charge of some of the market for electric vehicles. Kia will expand availability of the Soul EV to five new states, starting right here in Georgia. As part of the expansion, uh, also includes Hawaii, Washington, Oregon, and Texas will also be added. This is a segment where competition is ramping up. Nissan has already sold more than 75,000 all-electric Leafs, which have been embraced by non-typical early adopters like the Atlanta Police Department for its bike patrol unit. The Chevrolet Volt is an extended range electric, which uses both a rechargeable battery and a small engine to generate additional power. Ford is also playing in the niche with the C-Max Energy. Like the Volt, it uses a combination of electric powered motors and a small engine to keep the battery charged. But the big question is addressing the matter of range anxiety and having infrastructure to meet that need. What if you could charge vehicles rapidly, uh, let's say it very quickly so that just like filling up your gas, you could for example, stop at a grocery store while you're shopping, your vehicle is charged from zero to 80 percent and you're ready to go. Other automakers are taking a different approach by opting for fuel cell technology. This is using hydrogen to create electricity and water is the byproduct coming out of the tailpipe. Is it feasible in terms of cost to the consumer? The cost of the actual molecule is only about 10 percent derived from, from its source, of natural gas. Um, whereas in the case of gasoline, 80 to 90 percent of the cost comes from the actual fossil fuel itself. So don't be surprised to see more vehicles in the next few years that will need a charge rather than refueling to be ready for the demands of daily driving. This is Greg Mars. We want to know what you think, so email us. The address is bumper to bumper TV at cs.com.